Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mars Anomalies video. We're back in Proctor at a new site, this time located to the southwest of that strange dune field about 50 kilometers in length in Proctor. This is in a region called Noarcus Terra. The RIS team calls this photograph Rocks on Floor of Proctor Crater. Acquired on the 24th of July 2014 at 50.6 centimeters per pixel resolution. I'll be showing you images I cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at the strange smaller dunes in this area. You'll see towards the northern part of the site there's larger dunes, but the anomalies we're looking at are some of these smaller white objects that litter this area. Also, like the previous photograph, this one's totally washed out, very low contrast and very bright. So I had to reduce the brightness and increase the contrast slightly. So it's located over here to the southwestern edge of that dune field. So let's have a look at the first item of interest and it's right there folks. You can use the scale indicator to give an idea an approximate size of these objects. So that there will be 40, 20, 10 so I'd say that item we're looking at there is about 3 to 4 meters in diameter and it's got this strange spiral shape to it. And we've seen a couple of others very similar to this in this area of Proctor. Right, so let's have a look at the disk over there. That would be 40, 20, 10, about 10 meters in diameter. Check out the symmetry and geometry of this shape. It's got a smaller diameter on this half of the disc and then it's got these sort of flanges that come out and form this larger diameter part of the disc. It's very unusual. Right, then we're looking at the L shape over there, which is about 10 by 10 meters in size. Let's have a look at that odd disc over there. More of an oval shape, and then it's got these two, I don't know what to call them, parts that extend out the back on either side of that disc. It also looks like there's a smaller part to it that's slightly elevated here yeah, to the right. Bright part there close to the center. Let's have a look at those two objects. This looks like a disc. It's slightly angled and embedded in this weird shape. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides to it. Right there in the center. I'd say that disc is about five meters in diameter and then this odd piece over here to the right also looks quite unusual. Right, let's have a look at the blocks over here to the right. And each one of those measures about 6 by 6 meters in size. We've got two rows here. The blocks still next to one another. Very weird. And then there's the smaller block over here. Then walking distance from those. And it's about 8 meters long. Looks like another block lying next to it. Right, let's have a look at this. We've seen similar shapes in other photographs taken in Proctor as well. Where we have the two parts. Is that a break? Or is that an intentional division or slot? With the smaller part bridging 
the gap right there in the center. All right, let's have a look at the weird item of here. I don't know what to make of this one, guys. That I would say is about 15 meters across. Look at the weird indentations on it. It looks almost like a sculpted head with the one eye of here, another one there, and then a nose. Not that it is a sculpted head, folks, but this weird shape is rather odd as well. Right, let's have a look at the block over there. It's about, I'd say, 8 meters long, and it's lying on top of a larger block underneath. Another one next to it over here. Looks almost as if there's another one of the smaller ones over here to the left. Alright, let's zoom in on this odd ball. It's got this strange, I don't know, teardrop, plectrum shape. But I like the uniformity and geometry of that piece. It's not like the domes that I've shown you in previous videos. This one's more in this very symmetrical shape. Right, let's have a look at the item of here to the bottom right. And we've seen this type of spherical object on a larger, almost rectangular, cleared out area in other places on Mars too. So this sphere is about 5 meters in diameter. And they remind me of those spheres that you get at sites down in South America. Right, let's have a look at this piece. I'd say that's about 12 to 15 meters in length. Check out the shape. It's got this sort of carved away area here. It's almost as if it's got like a flat appearance on the top in the shape of a sort of L shape. Very difficult to mark out. Right, let's have a look at the item to the top right. That's where we have another block. Let's have a look at this one. Looks like it's all out out here. And then this strange L shaped piece. This is almost like a covering or a roof. Very odd. Right, then we have a look at the item of here to the far right. And that's about 8 meters in length. It's just got a very symmetrical and geometric shape to it. And then this is also rather odd. Looks almost like a little stone edge. That would be about 20 meters across. But let's zoom in on the item of interest over here to the bottom right. Another one of these strange dome shapes with that rounded part on the top. Okay. Let's go down to Proctor. There's the dune field. And we're looking at the anomalies there briefly again. It's a pity that I didn't have a higher resolution photograph. But a lot of these taken of that Proctor dune field are at 50 centimeters per pixel. There's only one or two that are actually at about 25 centimeters per pixel. This is also where I found that strange, almost like an infinity sign part. Let's see if I can find that strange, there it is, another one of those strange 
spiral shaped artifact. It's another one of those weird shapes like that and normally I showed you where I said like, it looks like eyes and a nose this looks like a helmet <laughs> it's very odd there's also lots of these blocks and disc shapes in this area you've got these monolithic top blocks or slabs sticking up out of the surface as well so it looks like a face with the two eyes and a mouth or a nose I don't know what those are guys let's have a look at one more site over here of interest I'll continue searching for more photographs of Proctor but it's really difficult there's thousands of photographs taken off sites all around Mars check out uahighrise.org you'll find thousands and thousands of photographs of course if you do download them remember to use iView to open the JP2s I view you can also download off uahighrise.org it's a special image viewer for JP2s check lots of these are all rectangular blocks some of you have indicated these look like boats I suppose you could say the bottom side of boats. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. We'll be back soon. Bye for now.